Welcome to the world of phrasal verbs. A world where prepositions make a big difference. Where we hear words like transitive and intransitive. And where English learners often fall out of love with the English language. Here at English Animated, we're going to make a series dedicated to the most common phrasal verbs. But before we do, we wanted to make this video so you have the tools you need to learn them effectively. So, to start with, what is a phrasal verb? Well, it's a verb whose meaning has been changed by combining it with a preposition. For example, the word look means to direct your eyes at something. But the phrasal verb look after means to care for someone. So the meaning of the verb has changed by combining it with the preposition after. If a preposition doesn't change the meaning of the verb, then it's probably not a phrasal verb. For example, look at isn't a phrasal verb. At is just the preposition we use with the verb look when we want to specify the object we're looking at. In another series, we focus on common mistakes with verb prepositions. But in this series, we're only focusing on true phrasal verbs. There are different ways to learn phrasal verbs. Here at English Animated, we believe in learning them individually and in context. So we don't take a single verb, such as look, and then learn all the phrasal verbs related to it. Instead, we create a context, such as holiday, and then apply the various phrasal verbs that are relevant to that context. And that's how we make our phrasal verb videos. The next thing we want you to know are the different grammar rules of phrasal verbs. Because once you learn the meaning of a phrasal verb, the next step is knowing how to use it. We can divide the different phrasal verbs into four categories. We have transitive, intransitive, separable and inseparable. Transitive means there has to be an object with the phrasal verb for the sentence to make sense. Intransitive means there doesn't have to be an object with the phrasal verb. For example, the phrasal verb look after is transitive. It needs an object for the sentence to make sense. If I only say I look after, it doesn't make sense. But if I say I look after my children, that does make sense. Break down is an example of an intransitive phrasal verb. It doesn't need an object. We can just say my car broke down. Separable means you can separate the two parts of the phrasal verb and put the object between the verb and the preposition. So we can say turn off the TV or turn the TV off because turn off is a separable phrasal verb. Because of all these different rules, phrasal verbs can be tricky for English learners. That's why it's very important to prioritise what you learn. They say we use 20% of a language 80% of the time, and 80% of a language 20% of the time. In this series, we try and focus on the commonly used phrasal verbs, the 20% that we use 80% of the time. Only watching our videos won't be enough to fix that new vocabulary securely in your mind. So, a great way to do some extra practice is to type the phrasal verb into Google News and read the articles that come up. Now, if you're ready, take a look at our first video in the series, which looks at phrasal verbs for relationships.